I'm Dr. B, and yes, I'm a real ER doctor. So you may be wondering, what am I doing here in this space? Well, after years of pain from sports injuries, I listened to my doctor and had to pivot into a career that would keep me off my feet as much as possible. I also have a degree in finance, and so it was a natural transition to join Verified Investing. I'll share my prescription for becoming a successful investor right here on The Market Pulse. Welcome to The Market Pulse. I'm Dr. B. I'm Lawton Ho. We have a special guest. Lawton is the new, uh, newest trader on our floor. Our trading floor is growing. Uh, and it's really exciting to see, to see Lawton learning every day alongside us and uh, really having a lot of success early on here. And what's been helping you a lot, uh, Lawton, so far? So for me, something that's been really helpful for, mm -hmm. for me is called VWAP, yep. Volume Weighted Average Price. Price, exactly, yep. exactly. And so what's the other kind of, uh, the other addition to VWAP? What have you been so using? So we discovered something called the Anchored VWAP, which is yep. a VWAP that's anchored to a certain, I guess, candle that you're able to select. Exactly, perfect. So we're going to show you some, some uh, awesome uh, examples here on the charts that we've been looking at today. We're going to move over to the charts here. And uh, you can see that, you know, Pinduo Duo was down here about 30%, right? Come on into the screen, Lawton. Sure. And Lawton and I were trading this today. You know, the, the Apex Day trading room was trading this as well. And we're looking at this and saying, wow, why is this stock so weak today? You know, they had an earnings or a, a, a revenue miss. And we're looking at uh, VWAP and anchored VWAP. And we noticed here that the anchored VWAP was actually one of the things that was causing the resistance levels. And we saw that it, it got very weak right here, okay, right around 10, 10, 10, and then it also uh, pierced this level. You know, no indicator is going to be perfect, but we are finding definitely some, some correlation mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, to, to prices and price movements. And what, what, what did you, how did you trade this, Lawton? So for me, um, <clears throat> something that we did, we first identified this double bottom here. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Double bottom here. Double bottom, yep. And we were like, okay, this is a good opportunity to go long. But when a stock is breaking down so much, we don't have a lot of levels. We have some choppiness here, but we decided to use the anchored VWAP. And for us, we knew that, you know, uh, you can't see it here, but there was a couple like outer bands for that anchored VWAP. And once it pierced those, we knew it was going higher. So yep. we knew not to take profits then, even on a, a pullback like this, or like here, or even here. Mm -hmm. Right, and it came all the way up to this level, and you know this is around where we took um, profits. Yep, yeah, a little little sooner here, you know that that mm -hmm. Lawton took profits. But what now? Why did you get in this in this trade? Didn't we see like a downsloping trend line here, and we saw a break of that trend line? Yeah. So usually something I've learned from Dr. B, Gareth, and Ben is that um, we look at all, a bunch of different factors. But when you have two really powerful factors like a downsloping trend line um, that favors a break to the upside as well as double bottom like that was enough for us to be like all right let's let's get in this yeah awesome you know what I'm gonna go back to the charts here and just show just put a, a very clear line okay so you have a very clear line showing double bottom and there's there's really a lot to be learned from this right so uh, you know and I've talked about some of these chart patterns before in the market pulse if you haven't seen uh, the previous episodes go back start at episode one we bring you through market cycles chart patterns risk management all sorts of things so uh, each episodes about I don't know 15 20 minutes a lot to be uh, learned from those from those episodes but here you go if you have a big fall in a stock that's down about 30 percent right so 30 percent down around these areas then what happens is you have a big run maybe four or five percent you get a pullback here and you form this huge double bottom what's really interesting is this area right here we were just talking about this in a video mm -hmm. uh, in a YouTube short where you have a lot of longs going long right here what do those longs do they put their stops right here under this under this line and so market makers tend to what's called stop loss hunt they they run their stops right here and then they rip it high at the same time that the longs are getting stopped out shorts are going short so if the shorts are going short here where are they putting their stops Lawton 
What do you uh, think? So, this is, yeah, so they're the, shorting here. Probably around here. They're probably putting their stops right here. So what happens? So they get, so the, the market gets ripped lower, the longs get stopped out, the shorts go short, and then the shorts get stopped out. And what do you think the longs are now doing? The longs are now chasing, right? They're mm -hmm. chasing the price higher. Um, and one of the interesting things that we found here is that this, this falling wedge, okay, you had a falling wedge bouncing off support. This is support right here, this double bottom. And where did you enter long here on this stock? I mean, I think we entered right around here. I think your average is a little bit better than mine, but yep. once we saw it break, I was like, all right, I'm just going to instant buy because this thing is going to rip. And look, one way up. Exactly. So we knew that this double bottom and this little fake out or, you know, this would actually be called a bear trap, okay? This is a bear trap or pierce, you know, however you want to call it, or a sweep of those lows. There's a variety of different terms for it, uh, but it's essentially the same thing. It's the same mechanics of the market uh, that's happening, and it happens over and over again, mm. you know, on, on these charts. And so, you, you know, we waited for the break of this trend line, and, and um, you know, I'm really trying to help Lawton, uh, ex, you know, excel in trading and, and improve his, his learning very fast, take all the lessons you know, from myself and Gareth and Ben and Drew, all the things we've learned that don't work and try to help him do things that, that do work, right? Mm. So, so, and then we bought down in here, right? We had a nice run. And then what did we see? Remember there was a trend line right here? What yeah. What did we do there? I mean, there was, I would, I'm not sure I remember a trend where line exactly. Somewhere like this, right? Something like that? Yeah, something like that. Um, and we saw it break, and when it broke down, I think that we we took our profits there, you know. Yeah. So one strategy I was teaching you earlier is that you can you can move your stop oh, yeah. loss mm -hmm. up along this line as we go lower, or I'm, I'm sorry, as we break, then you get stopped out, you know. And although you didn't get the perfect high here, you uh, you essentially, you know. Practice risk management on the way up. You locked in your gains as we went higher. And, uh, yeah, go ahead. Tell me. Yeah, I mean, as as this was going higher, we knew that, you know, just like this is a downsloping trend line, you know, this is an upsloping trend line. And I was able to put my stop loss higher, 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 so that even if it broke down, I would still be able to take profits. And, and up in here, you know, there's, depending on where you set your levels, you could have been stopped out on this trend line. But I kind of let it run a little bit. But here on this major pullback, you know, I was stopped out. And even though I didn't get this per perfect exit, like Dr. B said, I mean, I'm not going to complain about making $3 on a share, you yeah. know, $3 a share. Yeah, that's really important, right? So, so most likely, right, and, and you'll learn a lot as you, as you trade more and spend, you know, hundreds, mm -hmm. thousands of hours in front of the charts, you know, as, as we have, um, you'll learn that you're, you're most likely you're not going to catch the lows and the bottoms, okay? And you're not going to catch the tops. And if you do, it's really kind of a lucky, you know, a lucky thing that happens every so often. Really, what you're trying to do is you're trying to take advantage of of this kind of the meat in the middle, right? This is where you should be looking to make your money right here on these on these moves. Um, you know, whether you get in here and make and you know take your profit here. Um, the idea is that you shouldn't be looking to take to catch the perfect lows and the perfect highs. I mean, many people try, and I've tried many times, and sometimes I do or get very close to the lows. Sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. um, that's where dollar cost averaging can help if, you know, if you're into that. Um, and uh, very good. So, you know, we have, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about, Lawton? No. Okay, okay. Uh, I will show you one other chart here on Lunar. And you can see Lunar, this is an anchored VWAP, and Lunar had a big run here. And it, it, you know, again, it's not perfect, but you see these pierces here below anchored VWAP. It's still pretty big runs, like six, six to eight percent runs from that, from that anchored VWAP area. And it's, again, it's not very, um, it's, it's not perfect. Uh, there, there are definitely different strategies to this, both long and short entries, exit, stop loss areas, uh, profit taking areas to be utilized with the VWAP strategies. 
And again, it's, it's somewhat complex. You've got to do, do, you know, spend time learning these, right? I have a course coming up uh, called X-Ray Vision with, uh, with VWAP. So it's really amazing how both the VWAP, the bands, the outer bands, and also the anchor VWAP can really help you uh, nail trades. Yep. So we use it every day here in the office, and uh, it's becoming part of, our, part of our arsenal to make money. So, any other thoughts there, uh, Lon? No, yeah, guys, this is really powerful. At first, I was like, okay, this is just a line, but but honestly, I just thought it was a, a line. But you know, once you see the like like it move off of that line perfectly, right? It's really incredible. Yeah. Like it was just a breakthrough for us. Yeah, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. So, very good. Yeah, the course will be coming out uh, in the next month or two. I'm very excited to release it. And uh, who knows, it, it may, be, may be more popular than the One Minute Scalpel. I know the One Minute Scalpel has sold yep. uh, you know, tons and tons of copies, but the VWAP uh, can be used not only intraday, not only on the one minute, mm -hmm. it can be used in the five minute, the 10 minute, uh, and really you know, the hourly, it can be used for swing trading as well. So, yep. so very, uh, very excited. All right, so why don't we end here, over here, and just you know, say thank you all for watching. Come on into the screen here. Uh, you know, keep keep uh, keep watching the episodes. You're going to learn a lot. We spend you know all day every day uh, doing this. Uh, we spend time outside of the office studying to bring you guys alpha, and uh, you know it's very very uh, possible to profit from these strategies in the market. So, thanks again for for coming, Lawton. Yeah, thanks for having me. We'll have you have you back again, maybe in a couple months when you're maybe when you're a little more yeah. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, experience in the markets and you can bring us some things that you found too. Sure. Okay. Well, thanks for coming again. I'm Dr. B at Verified Investing. Uh, see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.